So today I'm going to talk about ventilation. Now we spend around 90% of our time indoors. So ventilation and air quality is really important to get right. It's estimated around 65% of our homes do not have sufficient ventilation to supply that good indoor air quality. So what's going wrong? Well, let's start with the basics. Have you got a ventilation system to start with? We need to build tight, ventilate right. That means we're aiming for airtight homes with good ventilation systems. Now, every ventilation system will have extract points and supply points. If you look in your kitchen or bathroom, you might find an extract fan. And usually they are intermittent extract fans, which means that they come on when you switch the light on or when you pull the cord, but they're off for the rest of the time. And then there's supply points around the rest of your house. Now, usually that is trickle vents in the top of windows such as these, and they will be supplying air into all of the other rooms. There shouldn't be trickle vents in the same rooms that there are extract fans, because otherwise you're just pulling in air straight out of that room and you're not actually pulling in air into the other rooms. Now, as you get more and more airtight, or if you're thinking of doing a really deep retrofit, insulating your homes, um, or if you've got a relatively new home, intermittent extract is not the best ventilation system because it's intermittent. It doesn't necessarily supply all the ventilation that you're going to need in your home. So I'd recommend installing a continuous ventilation system of some description. Now, the simplest and cheapest way of installing a continuous mechanical ventilation system is by replacing your intermittent fans with a continuous one. And that's what we've done in our home. Now, not all continuous ventilation fans are equal. And this one has two features which I think are really important in ventilation fans. Firstly, it, it's got a humidistat in it. So when you put the shower on, then it ramps up. So it, it extracts air at a faster rate. It's running all the time at a really low level. So when the humidity levels drop down again, it'll just drop down to that lower rate and it's really very quiet. I've taken a recording of it so you can hear how quiet it actually is. The other feature it's got is that it basically tries to extract the same amount of air at all times. So independent of whether the wind's blowing a gale outside and trying to blow against the fan, trying to extract air out of the building, the fan will basically try and ramp up to make sure it's extracting the same amount of air at all times. Now that sounds like a fairly basic feature of an extract fan, but actually it's not particularly common. Um, this one is a Greenwood Airvac CV2, and one of the fans I'd recommend, obviously. Um, but if you want to know more about continuous ventilation systems, including mechanical ventilation with heat recovery, for example, which is a whole house system. It's fully ducted extract and supply, and it's got heat recovery in there, so it'd be supplying nice warm air to your home. If you want to know more about those kind of things, you can go and have a look at the Green Building Store website, or Inhabit has some really good blogs, and also Heat, Space and Light as well. If you've got any questions, pop them in the chat below and I'll try and answer them. But otherwise, thank you for listening.